Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a first impression and I literally just filmed a failure of first impression on my Physicians Formula Foundation because da 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 it's way too dark. So instead I'm going to be doing a two-in-one first impression on my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. If you guys saw my makeup.co.nz haul, which I will leave linked off down below, I bought this foundation off there in a darker shade and since I was doing an order on iHerb, which also stocks e.l.f., I decided to buy it in a lighter shade, one that they didn't stock on makeup.co.nz. So this is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, which I think I might have just said, but it's in porcelain and if this is a lighter shade, I believe. And I'm also going to be reviewing the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge because this is supposed to be the best dupe for the Beauty Blender, which I personally have not tried, but I do not really like sponges, so this may be an interesting review. So let's just crack right in. Okay, so let's talk about the foundation first, seeing as this is kind of like the main focal point um, for this first impressions. So the packaging on this is very, very basic, which you know you'd kind of expect considering this is like a $3 product. I'm just destroying the packaging to get it open. So you just basically have a little plastic outside and then the foundation just sits in there. Um, the ingredients on this, they aren't even the ingredients. Where are the ingredients? I was wondering if this was water based or oil based, um, you know, or silicon based, but we'll just have to give it a go. But this does have an SP of 15. The thing that I really like about this foundation is this is like a $3 foundation and it comes with a pump, so it just goes to show that other brands should just do pumps. If a $3 foundation can come with a pump, like, why can't you? Expensive brands, please answer my questions. So the sponge I got from iHerb also, and it was $6, and the foundation was $3. Shipping is only $8, so definitely. Definitely recommend it, and I will put my coupon code right here to save um, five to ten dollars on your first order. So it's definitely worth a check. I think it's SHC six oh six, but obviously will be listed right here, and it's always listed in my down bar of my videos. This is what this sponge looks like. It's bright orange, and I love it because it's orange, and orange is my favorite color. My sponge got a little bit munted in transit, so this it's supposed to have a flat side that kind of ends here. But mine obviously got a little bit squashed, um, which is kind of for applying all over your face. And the pointed end is for just getting in around your nose and stuff, to my understanding. So this is the size comparison to my face before it's wet. Because it, you need to wet it first, otherwise it's just going to like up all your product. So I'm going to go wet this and then we can see how humongous it gets. So this is it after. Um, <laughs> that is considerably larger. I'm just going to start applying the foundation. I'm going to go with this one here by Astralis. This is the Astralis Primer. Reason being because this is quite like a moisturizer. So because I don't know if you guys are aware with some foundations it's better to use a water-based primer like this and then with others it's better to use a silicone based primer. So this one is obviously a water-based primer but it just feels like moisturizer so I feel like this will be the least the least interfering but I just can't not use a primer, I'm sorry. I'm going to do one half of my face um, with the sponge and then if it's not good enough I'll have to switch to a foundation brush, but we shall see. Fingers crossed this foundation is light enough. It looks good in the bottle, but um, I've been fooled before. Not bad, not bad. My hand is still a little bit dark from that other foundation, but it's a lot better than the other one. It's probably still going to be a little bit too dark, but um, a lot of my foundations are. I don't know if I mentioned, but I really, really love the frosted glass on this. Like, it reminds me of the Estee Lauder. Like, it looks very, very much... Like, you wouldn't have thought that I paid $3 for this. Like, pump, cool glass, you know, frosted glass packaging. Does not look cheap, which is what I love about cheap makeup. If it doesn't look cheap, it's so much better to me. It doesn't really make sense, but okay. Alright, so I think I'm going to start with the flat side. And this feels really, really nice. I have tried other sponges like this, and they don't feel... Is This just feels really, like, cushiony. Need to smell it. Oh, it smells funky. Mmm. Not that it matters. Okay, let's just get on before I start smelling it. Okay, picked up a little bit of the product. Don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm just going to bounce this over my skin. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put it onto your face, not onto the brush, but... We shall see. This colour looks perfect, by the way. I'm just going to put some, actually, onto my face and see if that works better. I didn't notice that it soaked up too much product. Um... That's all about how much you wet it though, because if you wet the, wet the sponge, if you're not aware why we wet them, 
you wet them so that the sponge has already soaked up lots of water so it's it, most of its absorbency is already gone because it's sucked up all the water so it's less likely to suck up like a lot of your product um i really like the way that this is applying i'm not gonna lie i normally don't like these sorts of sponges because i do have one from radiescence um, and it worked well with that foundation because it was a really thick cream but everything else that i used it with it just sucked because um it just like applies it so sheerly but this has applied it sheerly but it still is really good coverage which could be a testament to the foundation rather than the sponge but i really like this yay there's much more of a success than my physician's formula first impression I just can't stop bouncing this on my skin because it feels amazing. Okay. Alrighty. So. Just come a little bit closer so that you can see. Now I'm still out of focus. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one full coat. You can see the colour. My neck looks a bit lighter on camera actually, but it's a really nice colour match. Um, in comparison to this side. So it has provided me really nice coverage um, all over. I would say it's definitely light to medium with a quite a radiant effect. It isn't super duper um, matte looking but that can be. I feel like that I've heard that using something with water in it can both thin down the foundation and give it more of a dewy finish so you have to let me know about that but you can see it's covered up my redness really nicely. Um, it's covered up some of my discoloration down here. And in terms of my acne, um, it's definitely less red, you can see. There is more of it here, but you can sort of see the colouring down here. It's a lot less red, so I do like it, um, the sponge for applying, and I do like the coverage of the foundation. And right now it feels a little bit tacky, um, and I don't think I'm going to apply another coat. I might apply a little bit more down here. Um, actually, you know, I will do that and we'll see how it goes. So. so that's what it looks like with another coat down here. As you can see, the blemish is more concealed than it was before. And it still looks really natural. I will say that my large pores around my nose, it hasn't pulled in them or anything. Um, it doesn't even look like... It's not even accentuating my pores. I don't necessarily look poreless, but it's not like bringing them out. Um, and it's probably less kind of like in my pores than a lot of my other foundations which is not a testament to this primer because this primer does not really help me be poreless so it's definitely the foundation and the application method okay so now that it's all over my face i can see that it is a little bit dark for my neck um but that's really nothing new i've never found a foundation well very few very 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 few that aren't a little bit too dark but overall i love this foundation and i love the sponge it just looks really really radiant and like it looks because I've applied it so thinly with the sponge it looks like I've literally got no makeup on to a degree obviously because my skin is not naturally this perfect and because I, I don't really want to use a concealer I want to see how this wears throughout the day but I will set it with a light translucent powder but it's not you know it's not going to get too oily throughout the day and I feel like most of us would definitely use a powder of some sort so We'll see how it goes. It is 10.57 a.m. and I'm just going to go ahead and set my face and finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back once I'm done to show you what it looks like with all of my other makeup on top. Hi everyone, so this is my first update of the day. I didn't actually come back as soon as I put my makeup on because I literally only put my makeup on like an hour ago. I just kind of got absorbed doing other things but I did set my makeup um, before I moved on to anything. So anyway, it's now 3.21 you guys can't even see that because my background is white but it's been four and a half hours and the makeup is looking okay it's nothing like outstanding um there's definitely some oiliness in my forehead and nose region um that being said there's no breakdown there's just a little bit of oil breaking through and concealer wise my under eyes are still looking pretty concealed my blemishes are still looking okay this one's kind of um, come out a little bit more and down here is a little bit more red because I did spill a significant amount of water down my face so yeah my blemishes are starting to peek through but that kind of happens with most foundations when I don't use a concealer so 
yeah I'm not entirely like thrilled by that and I don't feel like this colour has oxidised at all I feel like it looks exactly the same as when I put it on in terms of colour and the coverage is still pretty much the same it's just a little bit with the T-zone so yes that's it for my first update I will see you guys in a couple more hours